I don't know how I've done it, but I am the first on board, yeah? The first one. Welcome on board. First on board. Yeah. How have with, I done that, with yeah? Two, with two Brazilians. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, Brazilian Thank guys. You so much. Cheers. Have a nice day. Have a nice cruise. All of us. Will yeah. do. Bye-bye. Oh, how good is that? Okay, just got into my cabin. Can you believe I was first to board? I've never done that before, and this is waiting for me in my cabin. It's an invite to the solo welcome cocktail party and lunch. How good is that? That is tomorrow, which is day two, and it's on Friday the 13th. It would be, wouldn't it? Right, I'm at my first dinner, and I've been given a table, and what's really great is that they've put all the solo cruisers together. We're now dining together, which is absolutely wonderful. Brilliant, hey! So, Ambassador, well done. I've already made lots of great friends. This is going to be a great cruise. Right, I'm going to pop into the first solo meet, the solo welcome cocktail party. But for some reason, I've got no idea why, it's not in the daily. Now this is Raffles, where we're going to have the solo meet in. And as you can see, it's been reserved for us, so we all know where to go. Juice. Oh, I'll have a wine, please. Thank you so much. Yep. So we have a lovely welcome drink, which is great. It is very dark in here, but I just pan around. And as you can see, it's a very good turnout of fellow solos, which is wonderful. And we have the opportunity of dining together in the bucket. Southern Cruise Line that is really happy to have this big group of solos. We really want to look after you. We really want to be your, your reference point when you have something uh, to tell us. If you need any help, if you need any assistance, just let us know. And for today, what we wanted to do after this is head into the Buckingham restaurant for lunch. Uh, we have lots of tables reserved already for our group. Um, so if you would like to join us, we are more than happy to come along with you. And we'll all sit together in this part of the restaurant. I'll pass you over, this is our hey, hotel director, Alwyn. That's the one I was talking uh, here you to. Here go. Good morning. Good morning, Alwyn. Uh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I came by to say welcome aboard, and it's a pleasure to have you with us as well. And I know my two hosts here, Katya and Sarah, are going to take good care of you throughout this cruise. Yeah. And just to inform you, we have a strong team here with 648 crew of us who are all here for you. So whatever you need, please let us know and we are always there for you. Thank you. Oh, God, no. Uh, What's the matter? Uh, solo lunch together. In the Buckingham. Hi, I'm sat at the bar with Mike. Hi, Hi Mike. Now, we're going to develop something special, yeah? We're going to develop, or I should say Mike is, a special cocktail to celebrate the solo community. Now, Mike, job, yeah, yeah. Can you tell me what you used to do, by the way, as far as cocktails are concerned? Um, I was, up till two years ago, the National Vice President of the Bartenders Association for the UK. I used to be a cocktail judge, and I used to be a cocktail bartender as well. Wow, just got to Moa's Daily and the solo meeting tomorrow is 11 o'clock at night at the observatory deck 14 meet your fellows and have a drink and enjoy the karaoke night i'm guessing they're thinking that the solos on this cruise are a real party bunch 11 o'clock at night right it's 11 o'clock at night i'm gonna go to the solo meeting i can't believe anyone's gonna be there but you never know back in the 70s wasn't it we always were last night I found some solos! Yay! Is this a solo meeting? No. The solo meeting? I at the table. <laughs> <laughs> Taking any responsibility for anything that happened on land and air. <laughs> Just let's be very clear on this one. <laughs> yeah, we want to say thank you for putting us all together as a solo group with this bunch of crazy people, yeah? Especially him over there. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. He's speaking for himself, really. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, congratulations, we are last here again. <laughs> Every single time, we are last here. Yay! We are the greatest. <laughs> Always the latest. Don't give us serious, ladies, especially ladies, okay? We need shorts. Oh, it's not one of them. Oh, I love this one. Ah. Oh, 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 you man. Oh, you man. Just a man. Not finished, not finished. Not finished yet. Oh, you just have to tell me, you just have to tell me, yeah. There is a male or female. What do you think? <laughs> What do you think is it's a male? It's a male. 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 Yeah. yeah. We want some more men. What do you feel? Oh. Oh. What do you feel? Oh. Oh. We are now having our first solo meeting in the morning. Some of the fellow solos have turned up and it's not hosted, but they are providing coffee and biscuits, which is lovely. Right, we are on day 12 out of 14 and they have arranged a solo lunch at the Buckingham restaurant on deck 7. We're going to pop in for the solo lunch but we decided to meet up a little bit earlier at the Botanical Lounge and you can see some of our fellow solos behind us who are now taking up all the space in the corridor. So this is the area for the solos I'm guessing. and. Uh, Let's see who shows up. We've had a reasonable turnout. 22 of us have turned up for the um, Solo Lunch. They're treating us really well. It's a wonderful menu. There's wine being served for us as well, which is great. Now, today is going to be an interesting one because Mike, one of our wonderful Solo fellow cruisers, is going to be inventing a special cocktail for celebrating the solo community and what they've done is they have cordoned off this wonderful wonderful um, botanical gardens and it's only for the solos but the fellow solos got a letter to invite them to come well i hope they did i didn't get one but i'm here but there hasn't been any other advertising of it it hasn't been in the daily so i'm not sure how many people are actually going to turn up but we are going to be here. Our fellow crew, the fellow solos on our table are going to be here. And hopefully one or two more may turn up as well. Because Mike is going to invent this wonderful solo cocktail to celebrate the solo community. He won't tell me what's in it, but I'm really looking forward to finding out. And let's see how this goes. I hope a few more do turn out. Yep. And Ambassador, my feeling is they are really trying to do the right thing. So Mike, this little invention of a solo cocktail has kind of um, taken a new dimension because they have locked down this wonderful venue and it's just for the solos and we're not sure how many are going to turn up because it's not been advertised. But they reckon 96. And how many do you think? Uh, about 50. That would be wonderful. There's a lot of people here. Let's hope that some more people do show up. Now your solo cocktail, mm -hmm. are you ready? Yes. Have you got all the ingredients you wanted? Yes. And it's a unique cocktail that you've not seen before? One of them, not... Uh, it's a slight variation on something I've done before. And you've got a name for it? Uh-huh. you going to tell me? Strawberry Sweethearts. The Strawberry Sweethearts. So here we are. We are the Strawberry Sweethearts. And it's hope it's quite a few. Very, very good afternoon to uh, everyone here in the beautiful Mexican bar. Uh, we do have a very special event coming your way um, for uh, our solo guests. Uh, give us a cheer for the solo guests. <laughs> and uh, we welcome you most warmly to here at the Botanical Bar. So we are going to do um, some uh, cocktail making for you. Um, and uh, feel free to uh, to join in. So, if we are ready, we'll start our cocktail demonstration. Orange and pineapple juice. Orange and pineapple juice to give that extra citrus taste. Some peach juice. Peach juice, of course, for the main ingredients. 
some mango. Oh, that's for the mango. I love a bit of mango. So refreshing, it's unbelievable. Oh, and here comes the yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. And lovingly, lovingly pour it here. Look at that. How refreshing does that look? Well, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. The Jack Sanguia. Now, this gentleman uh, is trying to let him He was the vice president of the Bartenders Guild. Let's make some noise. It's mine. Yeah. 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 Good afternoon everybody, uh, nice to see so many friendly faces. Um, it's my honour and privilege to be able to do this here. It was always one of my dreams. Uh, one of my dreams to work on a cruise ship as a bartender. That was a few weeks ago, you could say. Uh, but I came on this ship and we got talking about it and uh, my friend my friend Pete suggested that we have a solo cocktail. So I take a one that I created many years ago and just slightly adjusted it, changed it around a little. And uh, I've called it Strawberry Sweethearts. And uh, there are a lot of sweethearts in the solos. Oh, here we go, give it for Mike, everyone! Oh, I'd like to make it strawberry sweeter. Now, it has given me the ingredients, which I'm going to share with you now. To make a strawberry sweeter, you need a strawberry puree, lemon juice, grand marmier, black currant cassis, and cranberry. So, what Mike's doing now, he's got lashings of ice in the glass. Um, and there we go. He's going to use an African measuring tool uh, to pour out the first measure. What's it that's going in first, mate? Strawberry. Strawberry. There we go. The strawberry. Money, strawberry. Going in. A nice puree. concentrated measure there. So that's the going product, into the mixer. Made in France made by in France. a very well known company. There we go. Of course. Lemon. 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 lemon, lemon, lemon. Our uh, lemon juice is now being added to the proceedings in our um, perfectly measuring out um, measuring apparatus. There we go, the lemon juice is in. All right. And then there we go. A wee drop of phrase. A wee like drop, a wee drop of phrase in there. Don't want too much. Just a drop, there we go. Happy days on that. And along with that, we have. Uh, cranberry juice. So cranberry juice, of course, uh, the basis of a lot of cocktails these days. Uh, cranberry juice. There we go, the cranberry juice is going in. Again, expert in measures. Uh, bartending guild beers are coming back now. Absolutely made yeah. to measure this cocktail. Made to measure. Alright, there we go. So I think it goes. Come on, shake it, 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 shake it,
Just want to say a massive thank you yes. for everything. Yeah, you've been for the absolute rock and stars. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am back on dry land after a fantastic cruise with Ambassador on the Ambient. So, how was my solo experience? First of all, I had an amazing time, and that's down to Ambassador. So that is the most important thing. We had, the people I was with had an incredible time. So thank you, I'll explain why soon. And also a massive thank you to Alvin, the hotel manager, and to Mike from the management team who put on that incredible cocktail tasting party uh, where our fellow solo Mike invented a cocktail for celebrating a solo community. And I found out what it's called. It's called the Strawberry Sweethearts which is great because Mike, Mike Streetman is the name. So thank you, Mike. That was an amazing day. And Alvin, we really appreciate that you did that for us um, because it made such a difference and the cocktail was incredible. So how was my experience um, with Ambassador? First impressions were incredible. Walked through the stateroom, opened the door. There's a letter, personalized letter, inviting me to a cocktail party the next day and to lunch with our fellow solo cruisers and that was hosted and the two ladies that are looking after us are from the actual um, future future holiday um, cruise team sales team and also Alvin the hotel manager turned up to say hello as well so that was really good to have that personalized letter inviting us so you've gone for the database and you know who our solos are and secondly, even more importantly, to be honest with you, that really made my cruise so good, was that you seated nine of us solos on the same table together. And we just got on like a house on fire straight away. We didn't stop laughing. I just had such a wonderful cruise with our fellow solos. That really made my cruise so special. And that's down to Ambassador, because you did that. Not every cruise line bothers. And my only suggestion would be to maybe put the other tables that were around in, in, in the Buckingham restaurant closer within eyesight. I think that would have been really helpful. So those things you did really well. You made a huge effort with those solo cocktail lunches, which included wine, by the way, which I appreciated, and a massive effort for the cocktail, uh, cocktail tasting with the, as I said, Mike invented the Strawberry Sweetheart and that meant a lot to all of us. So thank you so much for that. Now, the only thing I would suggest, I mean, also, I gotta say, <laughs> the 11 o'clock at night solo meeting, <laughs> that 
that was a new one. Yeah, that was a good one. So I'm not quite sure that's going to work. But I, I did turn up there and there were some solos there. So interesting. Obviously, you think that we are the party people and we try to be party people. So that was quite fun. Now, that was in the observatory, by the way, where we spent a lot of time in the evening. So now the only thing I would suggest that I feel that you could really um, add to what you're doing, Ambassador, is just to have every day a non-hosted solo meeting. Um, doesn't really matter where it is, you, you decide where it's going to be, but a non-hosted solo meeting, say around, around about half eleven, so if we want to turn up on day four or day five we can do, you know, or day six that we can do, I think that would really help. 11.30ish is a good time purely because that if you enjoy the company you can then go to lunch. So if you add a non-hosted uh, regular solo meeting that you put in a daily every day, so solos who see it might feel, okay, I'll be brave enough to turn up on day six now if I'm not getting off the ship. I think that would really add to what you're doing. Um, we had the two ladies looking after us who are from the future um, holiday credit team, whatever they call it. They, they were, but they were so busy booking their future holidays because so many people were booking it, it was very difficult to spend much time with them. I had to wait a day to actually book another cruise as well to get an appointment with them. So my only thought would be that as they're so busy doing what they do, which is great, uh, it's difficult for them to be available to, to become part of the solo community. So I feel maybe a member of the entertainment team that you got might be, you could assign one to us for the each cruise because they may have more time you know and so that's what i would that's my only real suggestion so those two things but you know if you're thinking of booking with ambassador and you're thinking are they a solo friendly cruise line absolutely you, you know they're putting on these 25% uh, solo supplement deals as well you know they're keep reserving cabins for solo for the solo community but more importantly the management team are listening to us they're listening to our suggestions and they're learning because we're all learning all the time as to what works and they are definitely, in my opinion, trying so hard to be a solo friendly cruise line. You already are. I just had the most fantastic solo cruise. I really appreciate it. So, and um, I cannot wait to cruise again. I've booked their new ship. I'm on the maiden voyage of that. That's how much I enjoyed this. So again, thank you. Uh, um, I'm just gutted to be back on dry land.